what I experience is like my I don't get words and, and things like that from my communication. It comes through his feelings. Mm -hmm. And I have putting it into words seems like having to chop out the tree, you know? Exactly. And so I've been trying to to, to understand how I can pass it on in some way that doesn't involve words. And, and when you're talking about healing now, I'm just thinking, well, that's just soul to soul mediumship, which you're then taking it to the soul of the person you're healing. So exactly. So in that sense, healing is just another form of mediumship. Exactly. That is correct. Healing is another form of mediumship. And you may be more attracted to healing than mediumship once you know that. Because it, cause what's actually happening when you start healing at the soul level is you will be able to trigger certain emotions in the person just by putting your hands over certain areas and having this soul intention with divine love flowing through you. This is why a lot of people find that when they come up to speak to me, they weren't crying before they came to speak to me, but they come and speak to me and they're crying. What happened? There's this soul thing going on that straight away is just opening their own soul. Does that make sense? And, and you're healing the person straight away. So you will get to a stage where there's no longer having to lay them down, do a little ritual, you know, get everything settled out, do a bit of this and that. None of that will happen. Once you become a healer and one with God, everything will happen instantly and it will be based on soul-to-soul -soul transactions. That's why in the first century there's no record of me ever having to lay somebody down in front of me to, to actually heal them or anything like that. Most of the time they just touched me and I could feel their intention. The soul feels the intention straight away. Their emotion is cleared. Divine love enters them. They're healed from that particular ailment. And it's their faith, and that's one thing I'd like to point out, is their faith rose their soul condition to a point where that was able to occur. And that's why it's often called faith healing. Because what happens when you have faith is your soul condition actually rises beyond its current point for a temporary period of time. Because right? remember what faith was. Faith was the assured expectation of things hoped for. So in other words, you believe with all your heart that you're going to get healed of this particular ailment. That raises your condition to a new level. And straight away that allows more divine love to flow through you and flow through the person who's healing you. Does that make sense to everyone? So that's why faith works. That's why no faith doesn't work. Right? Because it keeps you at your current condition, so there's more effort required then to heal you. So faith is a very powerful conduit. It's actually a physical conduit for love. It's very much like the Holy Spirit in that regard. You follow me? Like the Holy Spirit, remember, I've described as a physical connection that occurs between you and God that allows love to flow through you. The Holy Spirit is, is dependent upon truth. That's why it's called the Spirit of Truth. Well, faith is a very, very, has a very similar quality in nature in that it's a physical conduit that's established that allows love to flow. Right? So, getting back to your uh, question, or your statement, probably the better way of putting it, yes, you are right. You will probably find, and many will find, that mediumship becomes less important to them and this soul-to-soul -soul interaction which actually exposes the emotion immediately and gets the person in a causal emotion at that instant is actually far more effective. Mediumship becomes effective when you're actually transmitting to groups of people information or transmitting to groups of spirits information. It becomes very effective. But healing is very effective on a one-to-one, -one, on a one-to-one -one thing, trying to help a person experience emotionally. And that's that's something that's very important.